Hey everyone, welcome to this week's bonus video. So in this video I'm going to be explaining pull rod suspensions. Now it's very similar to a push rod suspension, so I recommend watching that video first and that'll help you get the general idea. And then I'm going to talk about uh, the pull rod suspension and basically it's a push rod suspension flipped upside down. So if you just took it, if I took my whiteboard from my last video and just turned it upside down, I probably could have gotten away without having to draw this. So basically what you do is instead of having that push rod, which was this way, you now have this uh, pull rod, which is now oriented this way. So it works basically the same as the other. So as the tire goes up, it rotates this rocker. So then you've got the damper resisting that. You've got the torsional spring resisting that. Now remember, if you don't understand this, just watch the video on push rods. It explains all these in greater detail. You've got the anti-roll bar and you've got the heave spring. So one thing that you should always just check out is how the anti-roll bar works. So let's say you're going around a hard right corner and you've got this force uh, translating to this outside right tire and the car is going to want to lean that way. So you put the force up and that's going to rotate this rocker this direction. So that's going to push the anti-roll bar which is mounted here on the rocker. It's going to push that that direction rotate about this pivot this direction, pull in here, that's going to rotate this way and translate a force there and push that tire up so you'll level back out the car and keep the car nice and flat on that corner. Alright, so why would you use a pull rod suspension? Well, really you should only compare it to a push rod suspension because that's what it's competing against and the reason it's uh, used is because unlike the uh, push rod suspension where all the components were up top, on the pull rod suspension all the components are down the bottom. So you lower your center of gravity of the car, which of course is greater for your weight transfer so you can have some better handling characteristics from your car. Now, what's the downside? Well, before you had this uh, push rod that was supporting some of the forces and the weight of the car uh, coming down, whereas now that pull rod isn't doing that. So the weight is now pressing down mostly on this upper control arm. And the problem with that is you have to beef up that upper control arm so it can handle these extra forces, and in doing so you increase the weight. Uh, so it has its pros and cons, um, and I don't have an image of this because it actually hasn't been used in Formula One for quite some time. So when I was in Marinello in 2010, it was not being used, but if you just do a quick Google search for 2012 Ferrari F1, uh, you can look at some pictures there. Ferrari's 2012 car is using the pull rod suspension, um, and they're actually talking about possibly going back to the, uh, did I say push rod? Well, they're thinking about going back to the push rod suspension, where they're currently using the pull rod suspension in the 2012 model.